It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. Now, I've already done one for August, so you may want to catch that one if you haven't. I don't know what it was because I didn't go and look. Um, so we're just going to see what comes up. Um, now, things could happen at different times, okay? So you could see whatever I say could happen now, could have already happened, could be happening later on in the month. So something could be happening now, something could be happening later, you know what I'm saying? So let's just see what we have for Libra. August update, please. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. So, maybe this is a period of prosperity and abundance for you in August. Having plenty, nothing to worry about. Um, what else do we have for Libra? Oh, we got two. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. So, there is sadness over a loss. You may be feeling sad. Uh, maybe the loss has already happened. Maybe it hasn't. Okay. Now this can be a loss, it may have something to do with some sort of estrangement. Maybe you've had a falling out with a family member or something's been taken away or something like that. So there's sorrow, sadness over a loss. Um, could have something to do with prosperity and abundance as well because that's here. All right. Now this one's sideways. It's tower, solid foundation, success with effort. So there could this is like a leaning tower, right? Um, you know, you may be having a hard time keeping something up, keeping something stable and secure. Something could be starting to fall apart. It could be leaning in the opposite direction, the wrong direction. Maybe you're trying to build a solid foundation or security for yourself or to keep something, you know, solid and secure, but it may be hard. Okay. This may be very difficult. You may be, there could be some cracks. There could be some insecurities. There could be some fallouts. There could be um, some problems, put it that way. So I feel like there's an unstable foundation here. I don't feel like it's crumbled yet. It could be on the verge of crumbling. It could be because it's, it's sideways. It's like the leaning tower, right? So I think that there's something here that may be struggling to maintain its composure or to um, stay solid. It may be on the verge of, of falling apart. So I'm not exactly sure what that is, but you may be, there may be something that has already happened that has already fallen apart that you're trying to stabilize as well, you know. Um, now this could have to do with your living situation, could have to do with a relationship, it could have to do with your job. It feels like there's something that is on the verge of crumbling but it's not there yet it probably can be fixed i don't know what else what else let me see that looks all right planning a move so somebody may be planning a move okay that's moving boxes What else do we have for Libra? Somebody's planning a move. Could be you, could be somebody in your outside circle and somehow you are affected. Wedding vows. This has something to do with wedding vows. Could be a married couple that is planning to move. This may have something to do with a separation or a marriage, a contract, a commitment. Um, the something has something to do with a contract, okay? Somebody could be moving into something where they're going to commit themselves or they could be getting out. You could also have a married couple that is um, making a decision together.
news worth celebrating. This is the Three of Cups. Joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. A time for gratitude. Close communities or chosen families. Now, chosen families can be friends that you consider family. Um, so, news worth celebrating. That's on the table here. could be news of an engagement, news of a wedding. That's the Three of Cups. Three of Cups can also be a third party situation, so be aware of that. Sorrow over a loss. Maybe somebody is getting married or they've gotten married or something like that. Lovers. Unexpected choice in love. Embrace true love in deep, intimate relationships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. I mean, this is beautiful, Libra. But this is also unexpected choices in love, whether somebody's choosing to be with the certain one that they're with, they're choosing to be with someone else, or choosing to be single. This also has to do with contracts, okay? Any type of contract. I mean, we have a union here. So it is time to celebrate. Maybe there's union. This is true love. This is meant to be. Somebody's planning a move. There's a foundation here that is leaning. Maybe there's been a loss, but maybe we are building, rebuilding something. Rebuilding a foundation. We do have prosperity. Period of prosperity and abundance. There's sadness. But we have moving into some sort of maybe a new home or a new commitment or a partnership or a relationship or a connection that maybe it leads to marriage or maybe your um, relationship could be stepping it up to the next level if you're already in one, okay? Maybe you're stepping it in up to the next level of commitment, okay? This is a choice in love, okay? It definitely is. Um, so what else do we have for Libra? Making choices from the heart. This is a definite choice in regards to a marriage partner or a long-term commitment, maybe a living situation. Two of Pentacles. Now, Two of Pentacles is a power shift. It's a change. It's a geometric power higher than ourselves that is realigning things. So there could be a realignment. I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to find balance. Okay? I feel like um, this is a choice again. We have another two. Twos are choices. They're decisions. Um, a need to be flexible and adapt to some sort of change. There is a change. And maybe there's a financial decision here. There could be somebody that's making a financial decision. There's a choice between two. I feel like we have somebody here that has been juggling. There is an imbalance. They've been going back and forth between two options. And they've probably been some, there's been some sort of indecision. Um, I feel like... Uh, well, I feel like a choice is about to be made because a lover's is a choice. Now, there could be a loss that leads to something more stable. That's what I just heard. Two of cups reversed. Another two. And it's interesting, when I saw this two, I said another two, there wasn't a two, but then this two came up. That's interesting, huh? There we go. So two of cups has to, two of cups in reverse is an incompatibility, it's an argument, it's a disconnection. Uh, it's two people not seeing eye to eye. Okay, and twos are about choices, changes, a need for balance. There could be an imbalance here. There is an imbalance because those two coins are not balanced. Two of Cups reversed is 
you know, not seeing eye to eye. Somebody's not seeing eye to eye with somebody. There's there's some sort of disconnection. There's maybe no faith, no trust, lack of commitment. And it's something about commitment. Somebody's been playing, they've been juggling, they've been going back and forth with a choice in regards to a partnership. I feel like there's two options here. And that's why I feel like there's, we have the Three of Cups, which is a third party situation. The lover is choices. Somebody's exploring their options. They have at least two options. There's sadness because something may have to be let go to have the unity, you know. And they, they, there could be a change in a partnership, a change in a contract, a change in a union. Um, there's probably people talking as well. So... Five of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed is typically light at the end of the tunnel. But there's been some sort of hardship, um, hard times, negative change, uh, financial burdens, um, being left out, being abandoned. Somebody has abandoned something. There's abandonment here, and this could even be abandonment issues. We have somebody here that um, is struggling to maintain security because this is insecure. So it feels like there's an insecure union here or an insecure partnership, and this is some sort of power struggles, financial struggle, struggles as well. So a choice is being made. There could be some unexpected help here as well. It feels like somebody is receiving some help that is unexpected this is where things get better because this is light at the end of the tunnel after a very difficult time of i gotta say loss we have loss here maybe somebody's lost a partnership but this is where things get better this is joining together with someone that had that the way there's shared values honestly it's time to celebrate. This is where things get better. There's been a disconnection or there's been a loss in regards to a partnership. But this is a shift. It is a power shift. It's a change. This changes everything. This is receiving some sort of help. And I don't know if it's financial help or help from a lover or somebody that, you know, maybe it's friends, maybe it's community. Two of Cups reverse is typically a breakup or a separation from, from a partnership, from a contract. We have contracts twice, so there's something about contract here. Hi, Priestess. Hi, Priestess is somebody that is very intuitive, spiritual, um, is knowledgeable, reflects takes time out to, you know, observe and reflect and spend time alone and receives intuitive guidance from within and from source, right? So we have somebody here that is very, very spiritual, that is divinely guided, receiving some sort of, and this reminds me of the heart chakra. So this is a healing. It's a healing energy some sort of heartfelt guidance. This is a healing connection. Some of you may be stepping into a situation that is very healing. It's a healing connection. Anyhow, um, the high priestess is an inner knowing. This is somebody that is very knowledgeable, self-aware, and aware of everything that is going on around there is a, another two. Two, two, two. So twos are about partnerships, choices, changes, and conflicts. They are. And this has to do with independence versus partnerships. So there's a choice that is being made. Twos are, and and these, this choice has to do with bringing balance back into one's life. Balance and harmony. And this tower is laning. 
There's a need to, for stabilization. There's a need to get stable and secure. There's been great sadness over a loss, but there's a period of prosperity and abundance that is coming. So this is positive. It feels like there's unexpected help that is arriving. And I don't know if, if uh, you're receiving some sort of intuitive guidance or some sort of message that assists you with a choice or a decision. Anyhow, this could be a separation. It could be a detachment from a partnership where there's been abandonment or neglect or, um, I don't know, maybe there's even uh, being, well, five of pentacles reversed, like shut out, cast out, evicted, you know, that kind of thing. Um, be prepared. You're going to need to be flexible because there's a change that is coming. This has to do with a contract or a partnership. This could be with your living situation, could be at work, could be with somebody that is married. Now, you may be on the outside of this whole situation, okay? Just part of it somehow. Um, we have somebody here that is making a choice and the high priestess is very knowledgeable and quiet, very, very quiet, not somebody that is center stage, you know, very observant and reflective and um, keeps to oneself. Somebody is receiving some sort of guidance. I got to say it's divine guidance. And I feel like we have a spiritual... Well, somebody's gut is it's a spiritual well it's inner guidance that comes from within it's a spiritual awakening per se coming out of some sort of situation where there has been a lot of lack an inner knowing knowing what choice to make you will be you will know what choice to make okay you will know what choice to make. So that's interesting. Listen to your intuition. I mean, that five of pentacles reversed is some sort of uh, help. Receiving some sort of help. This is a detachment either from a friend, a partnership, a family member. It's like estrangement of some sort. Somebody's moving and it's because of neglect. It could be abuse. It could be abandonment. It could be because they're being kicked out or shut out or something like that. I feel like hard times are coming to an end, though, because of the Five of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there's some outside observation or something like that. And there's a coming together. There is a coming together right here. There's a coming together, and this is, and this is, this is good news. There may be a new contract. There may be a new contract. Somebody could be moving. Be prepared because there's something, there's a choice or a message that is coming, okay, there's a message that is coming that is going to put somebody in a position where they need to make a choice and it may require some sort of move. <laughs> oh, okay, movement. I told you. It's funny because I just opened right up to it too. I just got done saying it requires some sort of move. You saw me shuffle. Slow down. In this hurry up world, it's easy to get caught up in its quickened pace, rushing here and there without being mindful of your actions. Treating everything you do as urgent, your consciousness always at least a few feet in front of your body. And that's why the high priestess is here. The high priestess doesn't rush and it doesn't run and is very quiet, quiet solitude, spends a lot of time alone, isn't in the hustle and bustle.
Let me find my place. Rushing here and there without being mindful of your actions, treating everything you do as urgent. Your consciousness always at least a few free feet in front of your body. Yes, it's time to relax, but even more importantly, slowing down allows you to be more consciously aware and appreciative of the in intricities, whatever, and miraculously, miraculousness of your body's ability to move. This requires you to be more attuned to your physical form than your mind. At every opportunity, focus your awareness on the movement, not only inside you, but also all around you. It's interesting, I kept saying you need to be more flexible. Start by pausing for a few moments and noticing the movement that is your heartbeat and your breath. I saw the heart chakra. And from there, bring your awareness to the muscles that are used to make even the slightest motion. Observe how others move, people, animals, trees, and plants. Then consider how the universe is in constant motion without pause. You'll be reminded of this every time you feel a breeze across your brow or a gust of wind rustling your hair. At its most basic, life is all about movement. I feel like this is the winds of change. Now remember, I told you twos, two, 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 change. Choices that bring balance into your life. So I would be prepared. There's going to be some movement. This is, it feels like this is news that you will celebrate. And this could be unexpected because of the lovers. Okay. Um, yeah, so take time to listen and observe and reflect and remove yourself from the hustle and bustle. Maybe you receive the clarification that you're looking for in regards to whatever this choice is that you need to make. 4-4 four, four on that win card. Fours are about angel guidance, universal guidance, universal help. And I felt like there was help. It feels like, it feels like you're going to be receiving messages that give you the clarity that you're seeking in regards to a partnership. But you may not be hearing them. It's time for a change. It is time for a change. There's a decision that needs to be made. And I feel like there's some sort of abandonment issues that may be in the way. Anyhow, good luck.